What it do is show BZ to S-H-O-B-O-A-T and this new Future and Metro booming album has the internet in shambles. For one, being the biggest release of 2024 so far, but also because of Kendrick Lamar dissing Drake and J. Cole on Like That and a previous secret beef between Future and Drake becoming public. So I'm gonna break down everything for you guys in this video going all the way back to the origin of this beef. So let's jump into it, but first hit the like button on this video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video I drop. Now since the release of this We Don't Trust You album, there's been a lot of theories as to where this Future and Drake beef came from. What started it, you feel me? It's even got the strippers talking. So Booby Trap is a popular strip club in Miami, known for having some of the best of the best work in there, if you dig what I mean. Now, when the album dropped and all of this blew up, one of the dancers from the Booby Trap put a tweet up saying, Drake and Future are beefing over Amber from Booby Trap. You know how many of us in here eat dick? Be for real. And she has a man as well? Laughing my butt off. And this is allegedly her IG account of this Amber, right? Now let's keep it real. This Amber from the trap might be messing with Drake and Future both. But this is not what this beef stems from. Bro, you know these rappers all smashing the same chicks? Now could some pillow talking be involved where this girl or other girls are going back and forth and telling Drake what Future said or telling Future what Drake said? Absolutely. But we need to go further back. Now we all know Drake and Future came out with a joint album together, What A Time To Be Alive, back in 2015. And they've collaborated on hella songs together since then. Now here's where it starts to get sketchy because What A Time To Be Alive Part 2 has been teased as completed or coming soon since 2019, then 2020, then 2021. And then what happens in 2022? In November, Drake releases a surprise joint album with 21 Savage, Her Loss. Then shortly after, Drake announces a lengthy tour starting in 2023 for Her Loss to support the album. Meaning that the soonest that What A Time To Be Alive Part 2 could come out would automatically be pushed back until 2024. As you can imagine, Future might feel some kind of way about this. Future is from Atlanta, 21 Savage is from Atlanta. They both have similar demographics and Future has been working on this album with Drake since 2019. The beef between Future and Drake had to have started sometime in 2022 before the Her Lost album was actually released. And I'll tell you why in a second, but first I wanted to point out that Nori from Drink Champs leaked this information in January of 2023, a few months after Her Lost was released. That Future was upset with Drake over the release of the album with 21 Savage. Now the reason why I believe the fallout happened before the release of Her Lost is because now in hindsight, Drake's lyrics on more M's from her loss seem like they're actually sneak dissing future. Like when Drake says, what happened to that boy claiming OVO? We traded him. Initially, some people thought he was talking about I Love McConan, who was dropped from OVO back some years ago. Or The Weeknd, from past misunderstandings that they've had, but they've since patched up. But nope, he's more than likely sending shots at future. Future and Drake were really close to where they bought OVO and FBG chains showing an alliance between their two crews. And Future can be seen wearing OVO merch on multiple occasions. Then Drake goes on to say, but if I send a verse to they ass, then they'll take it, shoot a video, arm around me like we aces, or pop out at my shows, jump around with me on stages. These all apply to Future. Because unlike Metro Boomin, who refused to use Drake's verse on Trance, from his 2022 Heroes and Villains album, Future has two Drake features, Wait For You and I'm On One, on his 2021 album, I Never Liked You. Drake goes on to give even deeper explanation on more M's saying, let me keep it basic. Niggas ain't got love for the boys, so they fake it. Crack a couple jokes to some bitches on some snake shit. And it seems like Future got hip to these disses because it's almost like 
he responds to them directly on we don't trust you saying sneak dissing i don't understand dog pillow talking acting like a fed dog i don't need another fake friend dog can't be by the hoe because we sharing dog in your feelings why you playing dog and the in your feelings was the giveaway for me because we know drake had a huge song on his scorpion album kiki do you love me? And that song was called In Your Feelings. So we know Metro Boomin had issues with Drake with some passive aggressive moves on Twitter, like liking comments, speaking negatively about Drake and Metro tweeting and deleting his frustration with her loss winning awards instead of his Heroes and Villains album, which Drake responded to on live stream. To the rest of you, the non-believers, the underachievers, the tweet and deleters, you guys make me sick to my stomachs, fam. Look in my eyes, you guys wanna do something? That's what I thought, no. So now we know Metro's beef with Drake wasn't really original, but more so inherited from Future, who he's very close with. Metro is also very close with 21 Savage, who he helped get into the rap game, and Savage and Metro just dropped an album together in 2020, and Metro's production can be heard on Savage's 2024 album. So this has to be awkward for Savage, who has not said anything publicly about this beef or picked a side. Unlike Kendrick Lamar, who has been an ongoing rival of Drake, which some fans have been roasting Future and Metro for recruiting Kendrick to diss Drake directly on their album, and they have not dissed Drake directly yet themselves. So Travis Scott seems to have joined forces with Future and Metro also. When he was seen at Rolling Loud begging Future and Metro to play like that, the song from their album where Kendrick goes at Drake and J. Cole. Now what's Travis's beef with Drake I don't know. They've done a ton of songs together, including Meltdown from Travis's 2023 Utopia album. The only thing I can think of is the constant on and off again rumors of Drake sleeping with Kylie Jenner, the mother of Travis's two children. Playboy Cardi is also another one that has joined forces with Future and Metro going against Drake, as he can be seen in multiple pictures and videos with Future and Metro for the release of the We Don't Trust You album. Metro even posted a picture of himself, Future, Cardi, and Southside of 808 Mafia with the caption saying, going against the guys you gon' lose. I mean, that speaks for itself, right? So this Future vs. Drake beef has really turned into a civil war of a lot of big dogs siding with Future to go against Drake. And Drake being Drake, I don't see him taking this lightly. And I can imagine we'll be getting a response from him soon. So let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. As always, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Show be easy. I'm out.